Oh, hello, this is Colin. And although I promised myself I wouldn't, uh, I went out today, Black Friday, mostly because I had to get something done at the bank, and I figured, well, while I was out, I thought I'd go and check out some of the, you know, Black Friday sale things that were going on. I mean, it's not as big here in Canada as it is in the United States, but it is, it is growing. So I, I walked along Broadway well, as far as chapters, and I, I got a book on the uh, Taipei Rebe Taiping Rebellion um, from chapters, and I got uh, some art supplies. I got an ink that says it's opaque white. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, but mostly I bought tea. Let's see, what did I get? I, I bought um, see, somebody gunpowder gunpowder pinhead tea which uh, gunpowder has been recommended to me by some friends up north uh let's see what else we got here oh strawberry just just a plain simple you know black tea with strawberry you know i like sweet simple teas um a non such which is a tea from uh negriri i think it, it was and uh, nobody at granville island tea seemed to know where negriri was I'm guessing it's somewhere in India, but but we shall see. But uh, I think, well, the one I've tried so far is actually Ganong Dempo from Sumatra. Now, this is a tea I drank years ago, but for some reason I stopped. And, and now that I'm drinking it again, I have to wonder why I ever stopped. It's a lovely tea. It comes from, uh, it's one of the few that uh, comes from Indonesia. Now, uh, Indonesia was uh, supposed, supposed to be a perfect place to grow tea. I mean, it's hot and it's humid and it's tropical. So, you, so um, in, what was it, 1684, a eccentric German doctor, Andreas Kleer, uh, actually introduced tea to Indonesia, uh, seedlings he brought over from Japan. Where tea, so uh, in Indonesia, in Sumatra, tea was grown sort of as a small scale medicinal tea because of a German doctor. It wasn't until 1827 that uh, J. Jacobson, a uh, employee of the Dutch East India Company, now we've got to keep in mind that uh, at this time Indonesia was a possession of the Dutch East India Company. Um, apparently he went to China. He was uh, tea tasting in China, and he s managed to smuggle out from the secret tea gardens of Fujian province, not just seedlings, but workers that he brought, took back with him to Sumatra to plant tea and grow tea. This particular tea is actually named after a volcano. So the tea is grown in volcanic soil, which supposedly gives it its taste. Now, when you first smell uh, the Nang Dempo, uh, you immediately—it's not—it's not overpowering, but you immediately pick up sort of a sweet floral scent, just just a hit, you know, just a bit of floral scent. Um, and you know, this is without mixing any floral or anything. There's nothing added to it. It just has a naturally slightly sweet, slightly floral smell and taste. And there's also a maltiness, not as much as your African or your Assam's. And it, 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 it reminded me of an African blend simply because it's very tightly ground. So it's, it's one of those teas that looks something like coffee grounds. It's a very fast steeping tea, and I only use like uh, one teaspoon for a pot. But um, it's it's actually quite um, a mild, but really quite interesting flavor. And when I first bought it, I remember the uh, person behind the counter was telling me it was actually a good tea to drink when it's cooled down a little. So if you don't like to drink your teas very hot, the Danang Dempo actually gets more flavorful um, the more you let it cool. So I'm, I'm glad that, that I have uh, reintroduced this particular tea into my life. Um, as far as I know, it's the only, it's the only blend from uh, Indonesia. But you've got to keep in mind that even though, uh, by, even though Indonesia at one point 
was the fourth largest producer of tea in the world. Uh, the tea plantations of Indonesia suffered terribly during World War II, during the Japanese occupation. Uh, later on, of course, there was the Indonesian struggle for independence from Holland. And uh, it's only, you know, more recent decades that the tea plantations in Indonesia are, are getting really getting back on their feet. So I would encourage you all to give it a try. Um, I understand this one is also considered a, a fair trade tea. So, Ganang Dempo. Not only is it a, a wonderful tea, it's also fun to say. Cheers.